The Arizona Cardinals are currently 9-2 in the NFL, and they currently are 4-0 in the NFC West. Let me explain to you why I feel like the Arizona Cardinals are the best team in the NFC West as of right now. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of my subscribers saying, hey, Mike, the Arizona Cardinals are the best team in the NFC. But currently, right now, we have six games left in the NFL season, and I might have to wait a little bit more until I crown the Arizona Cardinals the best in the NFC, but they're making a very, very strong push for it. As of right now, I'm very confident saying the Arizona Cardinals are the best in the NFC West. And let me give you my top five reasons as to why. Let's roll that intro. All right, welcome back in AZ Sports Fan Family. Now, very, very excited here because the Arizona Cardinals do have a game this week. We're going to be playing the Chicago Bears, and I'm extremely excited uh, to finally have some Cardinals football back. And with the possibility of maybe hopefully seeing Kyler Murray come back just gives me uh, just gives me overall excitement here to have football back on Sunday. But before we get started, definitely do me one huge favor, guys. If you are new to the AZ Sports Fan here on YouTube, we went ahead and crushed our goal of 8K. Now we want to go ahead and get our next goal, and that's going to be 9K. So definitely do me one big favor. If you're new, please consider subscribing to the AZ Sports Fan on YouTube. Smack that like button, and let's get started. Without further ado, let's go and just jump right into here my very first first key reason as to why the Arizona Cardinals are the best team in the NFC West is I want to start off by saying the Arizona Cardinals went ahead and fought adversity and they persevered. We went ahead and got so many big key injuries um, midway through the season. J.J. Watt, Kyler Murray, DeAndre Hopkins, and that's just to name a few. I feel like our offensive line was, was hurt left and right, and we just did a very, very good job in maintaining what we could do with the pieces that we had. So we got to give a big shout out, big kudos to the coaching staff. Even with Cliff Kingsbury wasn't there, our um, one of our assistant coaches ended up stepping up as well as Vance Joseph and had a huge game. And just overall, anything that kind of came in the Arizona Cardinals way in terms of a roadblock, they went ahead and persevered, man. Um, this team is built to win. When they're talking about a 1-0 mentality week after week, I honestly only saw one week that we didn't show up at all, but every single week this Arizona Cardinal team came out and they left it all on the field. All right, now let's move over to my reason number two, why the Arizona Cardinals are the best in the West, and I gotta go ahead and just say it. We are currently nine and two in the NFL. What more can I say here, ladies and gentlemen? The Arizona Cardinals are 9-2. The Arizona Cardinals went 2-3 and three with their backup quarterback, Colt McCoy. And nothing to, you know, bag on Colt McCoy. But he is his backup quarterback, and that's exactly what he is. And he did an amazing job when it come down to beating two top rivals that we had in our division, the San Francisco 49ers, as well as the Seattle Seahawks. Now, he didn't have a, such a good game against the Carolina Panthers, but I'm just going to go ahead and give him a mulligan there. We never really do good against the Carolina Panthers at all. Cardinals are 9-2. and two. What more can we ask for? All right, let's move on to my reason number three. I, I want to talk about the entirety of the NFL here. Um, I think we've seen multiple teams, whether you think of the Buccaneers, uh, whether you think of the Rams, maybe not the Green Bay Packers, but a lot of teams that are basically high up in the, you know, the, uh, the playoff standings, they all had very, very, very bad games. Not once, but multiple games. And I feel like the Arizona Cardinals only really had one bad game. Yes, we have two losses, but the other loss came from the Green Bay Packers, which, let's be honest, we probably could have won that game if A.J. Green would have turned around. But I do think that the Arizona Cardinals here had one bad game, and that was the Carolina Panthers game. It was a comeback game for Cam Newton. The fans were super excited. They were having a ignite to their you know to their season they saw a playoff run happening maybe now it started to fizzle away here but the Arizona Cardinals only had one bad game and that's against the Carolina Panthers look at other top NFC teams out there multiple ugly losses from those top teams so I really do feel confident in the Arizona Cardinals really staying at the position that they currently are at all right, let's move on to my reason number four. I, you know I got to talk about the NFC West. You know I got to talk about the other teams here. I do think that the Rams have been exposed. Sean McVay was very, very excited that he finally had a quarterback in Matthew Stafford. And all it seems like is happening right now with Matthew Stafford is that 
It looks like it's Pat's daddy. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. It, it, I even super boggled to me that Sean McVay almost forgets that he has a run game and he throws it all on Matthew Stafford's shoulders. Now, I do think Matthew Stafford is also to blame in that whole situation. He does love to play hero ball a lot. He did get a new shiny toy in uh, Odell Beckham Jr., but I do feel like the Rams have been exposed. They went ahead and lost three straight games. Now, this coming week, they have a favorable matchup, and that's going to be against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jaguars, they have to make things right because after the Jacksonville Jaguars, it's going to be the Arizona Cardinals on Monday night, and that right there is going to be a fantastic game. I also got to mention the San Francisco 49ers. They are going on a run themselves. They are looking really, really good. Man, Debo Samuels is being used in any sort of way. Wide receiver, running back, you name it, man. This guy has been a jack of all trades. I think it's unfortunate news that came down that Debo Samuels did get hurt. He might miss one or two games in these recent games that are coming up, which sucks for the San Francisco 49ers, but they are hitting a stride right now, and they might sneak their way into a playoff wild card spot. All right, let's move on to my fifth top reason why the Arizona Cardinals are the best team in the NFC West and that is going to be if you look at the Cardinals roster from top to bottom we are the best roster in the NFC West you can't deny it man we have the best roster defensively offensively top to bottom we are ready to win this West and it's been long overdue it's been since 2015 since we won the division and we are primed to win this division this year but when healthy the Arizona Cardinals are the best roster in the NFC West in my personal opinion and probably the best quarterback out there I mean let's be, uh, Russell Wilson is on a regression you guys know how I feel about Jimmy G and Matthew Stafford seeming to be exposed at this very moment right now so I gotta back my guy Kyler Murray all Although he has missed three games, Colt McCoy just came in and, and just gave us that extra juice. And honestly, we are looking that good. And, and honestly, locked in for a playoff spot. Let me know what you guys think about the NFC West, guys. What are your reasons why the Arizona Cardinals are the best team in the NFC West? Put everything in the comments below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys for watching, and I'm out.